Hey guys, what's up? It's Taysdale again. Here for another good video. I've got a spicy one for you that's just been shown on the uh, league deck dump. It's a pretty interesting one. It's like an egg relay tron. So, um, it's a pretty interesting one for West Coast gamers to be playing. So, let's start and dive into the deck deck. So, basically it just runs straight up 16 lands, 4 of each tron land. And then four forests, pretty straightforward. Trying to assemble tower, power plant, mine as fast as possible. Take it to the magical number seven. Uh, uses crop rotation, ancient stones, and abundant harvest to find those and get those quicker. Um, then from there, it tries to foundry inspector and spend loads of mana to cast loads of artifacts, and then galvanic relay for another big turn. Once it's there, it either uses Fangrim Marauder. Or Decipher the Vault Conjurer's Bauble to effectively cycle itself and kill the opponent. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've played zero games with this deck, so um, it's probably not going to go so well. Um, yeah, and I, I think that's pretty much it for the main deck. Moving on to the sideboard, as I say, I'm only guessing this is straight up just copied and pasted from the Legacy, uh, the Popper League. Um, so we have in the sideboard a fourth copy of Fangren and a second copy of the Disciple. I'm just going with whenever those are necessary. And we need to get more copies. It has Weather the Storm for any aggro decks where you need to buy time. A couple of relics for graveyard decks. And Serrated Arrows to get rid of those pesky 1-1s. One Gorilla Shaman, uh, Nature's Claim, I'm guessing are for the affinity matchups. And two Echo and Trues and Entourage of Trest, basically just to. When the game becomes about the Monarch, I'm guessing the Entourage is that's what they're for. They make it so you actually have a chance to play that game. Uh, not a great mechanic in Pauper, I don't think, but if it's there, you might as well use it. Um, Echo and Truth, just in case there's anything that's annoying. <coughs> opponents disciple of vaults I'm guessing um, so then you can end of turn disciple untap go off any other annoying permanents I guess also is a is something there something to bear in mind so as I said played zero games with this so it could be very interesting I'm going to play very very loosely as I gen generally tend to do and um, yeah that's pretty much it so I will see you guys in round one Hey guys, we're for round one. Um, we are against Luca Jack, and this hand, and this hand is fine. It's a bit annoying that there's no other Tron piece, but we do have draw. We have a, we do have a relay. I think this is fine. <coughs> so I'm just going to play out the Tron land no reason not to see what this guy's on Swamp Go Swamp Go interesting um, again just going to keep playing out the Tron land spare supplies ancient zones is not a bad one We're just doing some mono black control. I'm guessing. Dead weird. So, the ancient stones. And we got mine. Two marauders on the bottom is a bit annoying. Um, and then we just spare supplies again. Crop right is a good draw. <coughs> Means we can crop right away the forest and get the power plant. <coughs> Bonders ornament is annoying. As it just gives him constant cards. Not something we really want. Uh, huh. So. First of all, 
I think we crop out by this to get the power plant. This gives us Tron. And then we start sacrificing this. It's a good one. I'm going to play out. I'm going to sacrifice this. Play this Conjured Bauble. Tap this for red. And then Galvanic Relay for four. Okay, so we have Galvanic Relay, which is nice. Abundant Harvest, which is nice. Fangra Marauder is fine. And the Chromatic Sphere. This isn't a bad. This is basically what the deck wants to try and do, try and chain in, try and chain out. Oh god. Don't just love it when every game's about the monarch. Um, so, <coughs> basically what I'm trying to do is just chain out Galvanic Relays and go from there. So, what can we do? So we can tap these, tap for green, play Marauder. I don't mind. Do I play the forest or do I abundant harvest? I think I'm fine with just playing the forest because I think I want to get the disciple down as well. I think I can play one of these out. Play this for free. Tap this. Oh, so we need to tap this for black. For the disciple. Tap this for green. Uh, Always yes, always yield. And that was yield. Yes. <clears throat> and from there we want to. Um, I think we want to do this for non-land. Then we use do this one next turn for the land to make sure we hit our land drops. Okay. It's a bit annoying we can't do that, but. Do we sacrifice this to draw a card? Hmm. No, I think it's fine. <coughs> 36 cards in the bin. One galvanic relay down. I maybe should have used the galvanic relay. Okay, so he's... Alright, okay, so he's pestilence, but he's just got a really weird land draw. <coughs> Which is fine. Monarch is tapped out. This guy's good. Death touch, so I can't tell this. So, from this, we're going to play this. And then, I think we get Ancient Stones first. Uh, this draws two cards, which is nice, but this gives us coloured mana, which I think is more important. Play this. Play this. <clears throat> um, don't think I need another land. What do I? Don't think so. Basically, pick this. And then tap for green. <clears throat> Play this. Crack this for green. Oh, 
apologies for that. Um, so if we get land here. So I think if we get land and we hit uh, tower, we're good. If we can gather like really there. Do we need to galvanic relay? We could hit non-land. No, we hit land. if we land, we can galvanic relay, which is nice. Obviously, storm count's pretty high. If not, if we hit non-land, we can just pass the turn and then have most likely a spell from the what we have a button have is the draw and the cards in hand to basically galvanic relay next turn, which I like. Hmm. But then he, oh, he has. I think we've got that one. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> Maybe that was wrong. So. Uh, I think we just passed it. <coughs> <coughs> Pestilence, sure. He's got two black open. He's a pestilence deal. One to each. This is fine. And again, kills the foundries. Okay. I think at the end of the turn, I'm going to put the Disciple on the bottom. Okay. Follow this. Oof. So, Foundry Inspector, <coughs> Chromatic Star, Bauble, Crack Pad Red, Forest. Um, I think we do this for green as well. It's a shame. Um, and then I think I just read it. <coughs> so we have mine, power plant, crop out, and stones, tower. That's a pretty poor read there. Play land for the turn, and we are at 83, so the chances of them killing us are very, very slim. Um, I think I'm happy to just hit for 10 here. Blocks one, blocks hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Like he's not obviously he's not pestilent and is us out, which obviously isn't happening. But sure, this is actually fine because he can only do it for four. Oh no, he can't. He can do it for five. Sure. Come on, I feel like guy's fine. <clears throat> so, uh, we're gonna lead on a stones. And we want a bobble. Tower. Tap for green. Sack land. 
attack the... Do I actually sacrifice the forest here? One, two. Um, yeah, I think so. And then we get a... Might as well get a tower. <coughs> and then pass down. I'm just going to leave these cards in hand. We do have uh, one more relay. So I'm going to keep these in hand just to go off when I relay because I don't need to play them now. I've um, got 19 cards in the deck. One of them is a Disciple. Um, and I believe one of them is a Foundry Inspector. <clears throat> the Duke of Bog. Again, that is probably fine. Talisman's also fine. <coughs> Crit rats. Okay. Sure. Crop rotation. Forest and then go. Um, I don't have a reason a crop rotation yet, I don't think. Um the deck's already shuffled so the disciples just in there. Um And that's pretty much all I can think of, really. Um, <clears throat> got all the Bonders ornaments. I think that means there's only a forest in the deck. Two, that's four mines, three power plants, and one, two, three forests. There's one forest. <clears throat> well, that's a nine. So I think we do this now. Take the power plants. There's only one land left in the deck, and then he gets to take the bauble. <clears throat> Slightly no. Oh. Help. So I think that means the baubles are better off in play. Again, I have no reason to play this. <clears throat> I'm just not F6 and in case that somehow run a sanctifier or something that can kill this bauble. <clears throat> the bauble. <clears throat> Don't want to get cast it again. See, I may have played this game wrong, but I'm uh, as I say, I've played zero games with this deck, and I'm uncertain. So, um, there's not really much going on. I'm thinking that I don't really know how this game's going to end, as they probably do run cast down, and they are halfway through the deck. So, I'm more potentially thinking I'm cycling baubles. 
But <clears throat> again, that could be wrong. Um, I think this is probably the time to go. Start going for this. We play this first. Then we tap this for black. <clears throat> and then we sack this for green. Yes. Prism. Maybe shouldn't have played the green, but I don't think it matters too much. There's the one forest, of course it is. I'm not going to play it, I don't think. He's drawn three cards a turn. Hmm. I'm obviously on 71. So there is no lands in my deck, so it is all stuff. Um, but then again, I don't think I need to. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I don't think I need to do anything. I'm thinking about do I start going for Conjures Bauble and Disciple, or am I going to. Basically, go down bauble and a bauble to stop myself from. Um. <clears throat> so I am uncertain. It's rather difficult to do all this through the pestilence. I think I may be dead, but I again, I'm, I'm, I don't really know. Uh, come on. <clears throat> Get up the spare supplies. Spare supplies, prism, foundry inspector. I don't really think there's a way out for me, to be fair. Apologies for the dog, she's uh, she's very aggressive towards noises, they're very scary. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so even if I loop, he just responds. There's no way out of this, I don't think. No way to stop myself from decking. Hmm. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Again, with more practice in this deck, I probably would have realised that a lot sooner. Obviously, the, the clock is a thing. Hmm. I think these are all my considerations. Um, <clears throat> Entourage, obviously, to stop them being the Monarch, but I don't think I care. Like, them being the Monarch is annoying. Um, second Disciple just gives quicker kills, like a build-up. Um, I can get to a point where I just have X amount of artifacts and just sacrifice them all the turn, but I find that highly unlikely. But... Um, the Echo and Truth is probably not a bad chance, same as the Nature's Claim, so I can get to that point where it's end of turn, Pestilence, bounce it, and then go off. Um, I don't think it's pretty great. The Serrated Arrows I'm more thinking for the protection from Monocolored Guy. Um, <clears throat> most likely to be the only thing on the field. Uh, and there's Crypt Rats as well, which is not irrelevant. Can bring it back. Um, I think that's probably fine there. They're possible. I think these three are the main ones. Um, what do I want? I, I can take Avery and out. Can't touch the baubles, I don't think. I think keeping crop rotation is fine. One stirrings. One spare supply. <clears throat> and I'm thinking of forest. No, this could be wrong, but. And that is so I can cut those two and keep the second disciple. So yeah, that's that's what we're gonna go for. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is right. I've literally played zero games, you are experiencing it just as much as I am. Um <clears throat> hmm. I think that's an easy roll. I think we can keep this. We don't have any colour mana, which is a shame. Um, Marauders is probably the thing that goes. Maybe not. Maybe the bauble, actually. We don't need the bauble yet. I'm just going to try and play really fast in a deck that tries to deck itself. Sounds sounds like a clever thing to do. Maybe Marauders is the things I'm supposed to cut, but I feel like the life advantage makes the Pestilence a bit awful. <coughs> Divest. Well, there goes the Marauders. Interesting card to bring in. I guess there's a lot of artifacts, but... So we have Tron Online, obviously nothing to do with it. <clears throat> There's green. There we go for Nonland. Protection from Sure. Crop rotation. Play this guy. <coughs> Play our land. So we have two more forests in the deck. And effectively three of each. Uh, two of each Tron land. So we um, Galvan Relay is probably the card. Yep. Well, this game's gone as well as expected for him. Foundry's. Hmm. He's 
draws have been pretty poor. Um, <clears throat> it's, there's not a lot of lands, so a lot of the time you do end up just cycling through your deck. But, obviously sometimes it does happen, I guess, that there's draws like this. That is a lot of protection from monocolored. Ancient stones. Let's see if we can do anything with that. I don't need to play this Foundry Inspector out, I don't think. Two plus six. Um, I don't need to do anything with this. I've got the artifacts out. That'll do. <clears throat> and we're on a two turn clock, so. There's one Marauder left in the deck to gain life. And foundry inspector to block. So isn't the end of the world. Uh, so foundry inspector. Conjurer's bauble. Conjurer's bauble back the. Uh, uh, non land. Echoing truth. There it is. There's for non land. Staff free. Click staff green. Staff and red. <clears throat> Why not? He's probably not a kill spell when we die, but I hope. Well, I don't think that's, that didn't seem like a great matchup. I might have been just playing it wrong. But, um, yeah, well, that's round one. See you guys for round two. Hey guys, here we are for round two. So we are against Paco, and this is an obvious mole we are on the play. <clears throat> and this hand seems fine. Um, I feel like we're putting back the mine, but yeah, hmm. yeah, I think we're putting back the mine. Again, this could be wrong. Um, I think we can find another land if we need to potentially turn off the stirrings. So, <coughs> Delva. I think I want to go stones here. Just hit another land drop. Delver didn't flip. So we are against mono blue. Getting injured. <clears throat> Angry Marauder. So we play this. Hopefully, get a tower. No. We did. So this. This goes to green. So we do have Tron. Play this. Sacrifice our land. Get the tower. I mean, tower, crack this from red. And we get to. Uh, 
This is a fine. It's not too bad. <clears throat> Three, five, six. So we're just gonna play all these cards. Um, if he taps out, we draw land. Then he's pretty good. <clears throat> so, two, four, six. To play Fangren Marauder. Do I need to play Fangren? Probably not. Um, maybe we just lead off casting all these. Maybe, that was a misplay. maybe I'm supposed to play the Foundry here. Yeah. Let's try that. Play the Foundry. Get spare supplies. I haven't played a land, so I don't know how relevant that is. To go to. No, I think it's just not land. Okay. So we can. Hmm. We'll tap this for one. We'll tap this for two. Play the spare supplies. Um, and then we can either crop up for another tower, which gives us more mana next turn, or we can just abundant harvest. Kind of like the abundant harvest. I also think I name land to try and get another land drop for next turn. <clears throat> I'm fine with not playing the uh, ball block here. The ball flipped to counter spell. It's good to know. Snap that back to hand so he gets his ninja in. Three, four, five, six, two, four. I can't double Fanger in here. I can if I draw a tower. <clears throat> I can crop right into it, I guess. So three, five, green. Four. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go for... Seven cards in hand. So I can play Fangren Marauder, and then he counters it, and then I can tap this with three open. So I, don't, I only get punished by a dispel. Oh, I can't sacrifice these. Maybe I'm not meant to go for that. Maybe I am just meant to go for the... Cards. <clears throat> Another foundry inspector. Play bubble. Play bubble. Do have a mutagenic or die? Yep. Maybe I should have just went for the Fangrim Marauder player, because I could only play one. But. There you go. New with the deck, don't really understand how it works, what's good, what's bad. Just figure it out. Um, hmm. Fangrim seems good. Maybe weather seems what I want. Maybe weather. So rated arrows, potentially. 
Hmm. So, Crop Rot is a card to cut when it's cat magic in. I don't really like that. Cut air stones. Maybe I'm not supposed to bring in Weatherstone. Maybe I'm only meant to bring in one. No, I should. Maybe I don't bring any and just cut those. I feel like I'm playing this deck completely wrong and I'm, uh, I'm ruining it for everyone. Who thinks this deck's cool? I, I think it's a, a cool looking deck. Um, but I do I do like these interesting Tron decks. Unfor uh, unlike the uh, the exciting flicker ones. But I think this hand is a fine keep, obviously. And <clears throat> we do have turn three Tron, if needed. I'm just going to play the bobble out here. And no. I'm just going to hit a tower. While it's tower. A no on the bobble. <clears throat> Definitely an interesting one. <clears throat> Do I need to play Tron out here? Probably not. Leave on that. Oh my days. How many annuls has this guy got? A null for days. Very miscreant. Well, at least it's not bugged. Oh, we play Tron. Third and all? No, it's just spell stuff. Sure. Okay. Um. I guess while it's tapped out, we try and use these crop rocks. Sacrificing a power plant, getting a tower. Play a bauble. Um, <clears throat> and I think basically he's just going to play a land and then he's going to spell stutter at ninja and then hold up spell stutter. Delva. Spare supplies. Laid off on that. Three cards in hand. Can't miss that. Wow. Uh, do I try and go for anything while he's tapped out? I can still serrated arrows. Um, do I, I probably bauble the bauble here. And with. <clears throat> Flip, good to know. Again, hit for three. Ninja, the spellster. Oh, Moonblade. Okay. Hmm. Wow. I'm just gonna flip the Delva. Nope. Hmm. 
I don't think we're winning this one. Yep, definitely not. Well, that's it for round two. Obviously, not the greatest. I feel like I've butchered this deck and uh, I'm playing it terribly. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys for round three. Hey guys, we're back for round three. Um, let's see if we can completely butcher this deck with the all fives. Um, and I think this hand is a keep. Um, we are on the play. Uh, we can tower into Sphere into Abundant Harvest to get a land. So we can guarantee getting our second land drop. Um, if it is a green, so if it is a forest, we can go for Stirrings. And then if it's not, we're kind of screwed. But I still think this is a keep. I think Abundant Harvest makes these kind of hands keepable. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I, I, I just feel like I am completely butchering this deck. But this is the first time I have played it. And I will be playing it a bit more. Because I do I do really enjoy these kind of Fangrim Marauder Tron decks. I think they're much more interesting than the Flicker ones. And we are against... Mono Red Blitz, I think. That is a good draw. Uh, we're going to do this for green. we do this for land. We did get a mine. And we are going to play the pop up. So now, playing Blitz, we're basically just looking at ramping out Marauder as quick as possible. So. <clears throat> Interesting that he right have flamed out the flame breather. But drawing a land here would be amazing. Oofed. And Tron as well. That was such a good draw. Um turn this into green. And we want Oh dear, what do we want? We probably just want another tower here so then if we tower i can then tower into marauder into foundry into foundry into bauble next turn i think i think that's the game plan is basically try and gain as much life as possible so these little dudes unless he has another right of flame here he can't cast both of them which is also good um he does get a bash in, and <laughs> sorry about that, guys. We are back. Uh, just had someone at the door. Always good. So, attack for one. He didn't play the other guy, which is nice. So then, what we can do is we can tap these, tap this for green. We can then play this. Um, I kind of don't think we play this out yet. I think we bobble back the stirrings, and then we always yes, always yield, gain some life, crop rotation. Yeah, then we just play this guy out. <sighs> And then we're going to use this to block. <clears throat> I don't think I want to throw the Marauder at all at the Kiln Fiend. Um, I just don't even want to consider it trading. Uh, I think it's my route to victory. Um, <clears throat> So, Mana Morphos. We might have to, depending on obviously what he plays. But Mana Morphos, main phase. If he doesn't play the land, obviously, then we're. Hmm. With the Right of Flame, this does seem like a more all in version. So, I'm going to yield through this turn. <coughs> so, which is quite interesting. Uh, looks like cool. 
Um, I do think the blitz, blitz decks are really are pretty well positioned, to be fair, right now. I think they're quite fast, and the Festival Crasher does let you get more redundancy. Obviously, you've got Kiln Fiend and Festival Crasher. And this guy is just much better than the 2-1. So, attacks. I'm on 19. So, if I block... And it does trample. So, he has three cards in hand. Um, there could be a mutagenic growth. If it is a mutagenic growth, this goes to 15. So then that's 30. So I still die if I block here. So I die to mutagenic growth even if I block here. So then I just assume he hasn't got it and do this. So then that's 18. But then that also, I die to... It doesn't have a lava dart. I do then game 5 after this, so... Unless I've punted this and can't count. Yes, I'd I die to mute with Jenny Grove either way. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so. Went just as well as expected. I feel like I need another Fangrim Marauder. Hmm. I like this. Hmm. Maybe not. Weather the storm is also a good one. Um, bringing in three coloured cards, probably not good enough for this. Helps find Tron, but that is about it. Um, Boundary Inspector is good. Enough. Maybe Disciple isn't what I need. I can kill them with just five fives. Maybe it's too good not to have him. No, I can kill him with five fives. Let's see how this goes. Obviously, it's not going well so far, as you can see. We are 0 2. But, hey ho. I'm trying to do this deck of solid, but I seem to keep butchering it. Um, <clears throat> I do think it's an interesting deck. I do think it's quite difficult to pilot. Um, and I generally suck at magic, so I can barely pilot anything at the best of times. So, hmm, I'm, I'm going to give this a go. Give it another few run-throughs of the leagues. I think it's just known what is good now. And I feel that you don't, by the looks of it, with the numbers, you don't really want to be sideboarding too much. Uh, and that's what I'm trying not to do. Um, so we have Tron. Which is great. But then we have basically nothing else. Um, I feel like we can do better than this. I feel like keeping Tron and hoping a draw is probably not the best bet. Unless maybe... Hmm. We do have a coloured source. Obviously can not cast Relay. Five, five lands. 60 in the deck. So there's 11 more... Hmm. I think we can mulligan this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is a much better six pitching back a foundry inspector. Uh, this keeps us our green for our abundant harvests, obviously our ancient stirrings, our weather the storms, etc. Um, keep some foundry inspector. And we're just going to. We're going to play a mine. So I feel like they play the... Uh, is it raise the destroy land card? So... <clears throat> obviously rather keep the... Uh, tower. Relay is interesting. Play forest. And I'm... Um, I feel like I'm going to do this for non-land. Again, Tron is important, but I feel like it's. I'm going to just get my lands blown up, so I'm just trying to get 
things that actually do stuff. Um, I'm gonna leave this. <coughs> I'm assuming it's not going to attack here. So. Hmm. Mountain, mountain. Okay. He is attacking. Means he probably has a mutagenic growth. So, if I don't block, if I don't block, I can play Star Galvanic Relay, and then if I draw a land, I can play Spare Supplies, Star Galvanic Relay. I think I'm not going to block. Stop. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to tap this, I think, star, uh, play sphere, sorry, uh, and then we're just going to galvanic me there, it's not the biggest, but still, tower, bauble, tower, bauble, the thing about other relays, um, tron decks, is I've seen they use the likes of Explore because it's pseudo free if you play uh, Tronland because you you mana neutral so and it's good because it, it it gets things like this where if you do have two Tronlands in your relay you can obviously still play them through it and um, <clears throat> you don't run many lands anyways but it's nice to. Obviously, not have a stranded tower or a stranded mine, etc. Um, so that is something to consider if I don't, if I do think about changing these. Um, again, I, I do think he does have a mutagenic growth. Um, so does that change my decision on how if I want to block or not? I feel like if he's got it. This is fine, like he does trade the mutagenic for the inspector and I am slowly dying but I feel like I can't carry on taking damage and I might as well try and value trade a, a flame breather here. Abundant harvest. Do I abundant harvest for? So what am I looking for specifically here? Um, <clears throat> a power plant, but then obviously I lose these. And if I play land, if I do it for land, don't hit a power plant. It is the most likely one to hit, just. Then it's pretty bad, one, two, three. And then all I'm doing is prism and all spare supplies and bobbling and most likely dying, I'm on seven. I'm going to hit for non-land, obviously. I think I still need to try and hit for land here and try and get lucky, but even still, I don't think getting power plant gets me out of this. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't even play it down, obviously. Just try to draw. So I'm just doing this, hoping that we uh, knock down. And that's basically where we're at. So I feel like this deck is actually quite good. I just think it's very difficult to play and... I do think I am butchering this deck, but I'm hoping you guys are enjoying how badly I am playing this deck. So that is three, four, five. That is me dead. Yeah, I, I think maybe the first abundant harvest should have probably hit land just to try and force Tron as quick as possible. Um, again, I don't know how well this, these matchups are. I don't know if I've just got lucky, if I've expected to verse Affinity a lot and it's quite good against that, I'm, I'm unsure. Um, but thanks guys for watching, I will see you guys for round four. Hey guys, welcome back to round four. Here we go, can we make it the uh, 
still have the deck butchering of all five. Um, I'm surprised again we still haven't seen any affinity. Uh, if we don't see any affinity in this league, this will be the second league that I haven't seen any affinity. And I think it's probably just a sign that people are bored of that deck. It is the best deck by a long country mile. And stuff like leagues, I think people just want to, you know, have fun for so long. You know, there's only so many times they can play against and with affinity. So, I think if it was a challenge or a showcase, I think it would be very, very different. But, yeah, I think... I think... I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't if we didn't verse an affinity, um, just because I think it is getting to that point where people are just bored of it. But we will see. We do have Tron. We do have some spells. We will keep this. Again, maybe I am supposed to just keep any hand with natural Tron in. We are against a blue deck. Whatever that means. If that's a good thing or a bad thing, however, I do not know. I can't seem to win a game, never mind a match, so... <clears throat> Just gonna play out some Tronlands, play out some spells, and see what happens. So, right now I'm thinking he's probably some sort of fear. And most likely blue black if I was to guess any but mono blue has been picking up a bit but I do think the blue black one is what I would suspect <clears throat> so we're gonna, at least I'll be happy if we can get a game on the board never mind a match I'm, I'm happy to accept the 05 here I'm just testing out a new deck I do like, as I say, I do like these Marauder decks, so any chance I can play them, regardless how bad they are or how bad I am, I'm just happy to play them. If I owe 5, I owe 5, but at least if I can get a game in to win, that'll be great. I'll take, I'll accept that. That is a victory for me. And if we get anything better, obviously, I'm all for that. So this guy is obviously in the tank. Um, I guess at this point I'll just pause and then I'll resume when this guy does something. And we are back. He was in the tank about what land to play. <clears throat> I don't need to abundant harvest right now. So I'm just going to play a prism. Prism lets me get my colours. Crop rotation. And he's going to end of turn fetch. Probably get. <coughs> Depending on his hand, he could get us one more on island, I guess. He's going to yield. I've got nothing else. He's blue, white. Right. Okay. I didn't expect that. So, we have Tron, he has Count Spell open, I'm happy to just jam some spare supplies here and see what happens. Crop rocks. Another tower is quite good. Um, I'm just going to tap this, tap this for green and then Abundant Harvest. For non land, we'd obviously have in this second land. Uh, two mana is prism, which works out quite nicely. Azorius Chancery. So I, w I would put them on the uh, Blue White Evoke deck, the deck I played in the previous video, which you can uh, go check out. It's on our channel at West Coast Gamers. Um, for this turn, I think I want to leave him tower because there's not much else I'd rather play if I draw into anything anyways. Um, I'm going to lead on Abundant Harvest. <clears throat> For Nonland. Inspector. 
So depending if this resolves or not is quite interesting because if if it resolves we could potentially just try and cycle a lot of things to get to galvanic relay so if i pay three for a final inspector it resolves i can play this this and this and then have five open to try and cycle for things um hmm. i think i'm just gonna crack one of these I tap like that in case I want to crack again. <clears throat> Maybe these are supposed to just sit and play, but... Forest. Let's crack again. Um, and I'm happy to just play a start out here. I don't need to commit too much anyways because I'd like to A, keep my storm high when I do want to get a galvanic relay off and I do want to try and keep the foundry inspector in hand. So say if he doesn't have a counter spell and he's just representing counter spell, I don't want him to untap, play the planes and then just play journey. <clears throat> so he's still holding up mana. So, <clears throat> I'm probably going to lead on this Foundry Inspector. Right. So then I'm going to then have this for red. Bauble. Um, do this for green. Um... for green boundary inspector so I can do this or this and this hmm this for green so a lot of crop rotations I feel like we're just really trying to dig for a relay. This is a great relay turn, I feel. So then from there, I can then crop rotation this forest away. <coughs> if it dies, it dies. If it gets countered, I'm happy. I'm fine with that. I don't really mind. Uh, get a tower. I maybe could have just started cycling these forest into forest. Maybe that was correct thing to do um, but I'm just going to play these two baubles out and I'm just going to relay I have no idea why I've just tapped that um, <clears throat> I don't think I need to get too greedy on the crop rotations so I can like sacrifice a tower which I probably don't want to do anyways um, <clears throat> I'm probably not going to bobble anything. 25 cards. Disciples there, which is nice. Another foundry. The fourth tower. Fangram Marauder. This was a... Obviously, we did it for quite a lot, so... <clears throat> you can mold Drifter.
three, four, five, seven. <coughs> So he's playing Esper Evoke, right? Well, that changes things. Um, so, we are going to lead on. Probably just playing the Fangrim Marauder out. It's the most likely thing of counter, if he does have one. I think basically we're kind of at the point where we're going to try and go for this. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> um, so, we kind of... So, for black. And I'm going to use the one. So, this. Prison for free. Galvanic Beware. <clears throat> so he's tapped out. Um, <clears throat> so we have two forests left in our deck. Um, I think I just want to do this. An abundant harvest for no, I would like. Hmm. I think I'd like to stir in first. Chromax, that's nice. <coughs> Chromax, that's free. And then we can do this for green. Always yes. Always yield. Draw a card. Random round. Um, then I'd like to do this for no land. <coughs> Come back, star. Finish free. And then we do this for green. Play the ancient stones here. Prism. Play prism. And twelve. So then, do we just play this and then tap this for red? And then do we relay for most of our deck? Uh, we probably just bauble a bauble. Draw first. So storms 12, 13. Then relay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's two lands, unless I've miscounted. But one's a bauble. So then we. Quandry's bauble on the bottom. 
Fargo Inspector. So there's two barbers on the bottom of our deck. Um, this is all because obviously we have in ours the black open for the disciple, but we do have two baubles on our in our deck. So we draw one. So it makes an army of birds here. Again, I'm gonna draw a bauble. The bauble. Any extra baubles probably doing it. <coughs> Let me sacrifice the bauble. Now we effectively just keep on looting baubles until he's dead. Which is pretty mad really, but um, if he does have a uh, kill spell, which I'm assuming he doesn't since he's F6, um, we did have the second, uh, well the third bauble to get the disciple back we won a match that is me i am happy i'm happy that's it league done happy enough but no in all seriousness <clears throat> i was uh pretty nuts when it went off it did when it finally did its thing that it was pretty cool um so, basically I don't think the Marauders are needed, I don't think all of them are needed anyways, I think the Relic's probably fine as well, to try and keep his graveyard under control. Um, they're not great against Evoke, but <coughs> the help with late to dinner, which is nice, and the Renewal, um, they keep the Renewal, so League's not insanely good, but... It's still enough to kind of stop the mad, like the draw four off the mole drifter or the army of uh, souls. It also helps with the archaeomancer loop. Um, and I do think, I think crop rotation is a card to cut because they do run counter spells. Obviously, it's quite bad if they do sack lands and they do get stuck in your hand eventually. I almost think I'm going to try and cut two and I'm going to go down that road and keep two fangrim mortars just to get aggressive. Um, but yeah that was pretty sweet I enjoyed that it's quite good when it goes off but obviously it's getting there so we have two Tron pieces uh, we have a draw spell uh, we have two relays which is pretty bad and a disciple so this is effectively already a multi six because we don't want the disciple in our opener we just want it to obviously when we're trying to go off. Um, <clears throat> but two Tron pieces and a green source is not like irrelevant, I think. So if we draw, say, an Abundant Harvest or an Agent Stones, this can kind of help us. Obviously, these are the kind of hands that you want, you do want the crop rotation in. So this could effectively be a second disciple and it could have been a crop rotation. Um, so. Like this would have been capable if it had a crop rotation because you could have just led on forest. Um, but again, I, do, I, th I think I'm going to keep this. I think almost there is 
close enough, especially against, excuse me, especially against the Vogue, <clears throat> where we have so much time. You know, especially Esper Vogue, the, a lot of the lands coming to play tap, that mana base is really wonky. It's just, I think giving us time is probably the best. Right, that's pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm going to lead on this, because I still just want to hit the land drops. I want to hit these Tron lands to then go spare supplies, to then from that point, I can then, if my third land drop isn't tower, I can then lead on forest stirrings, which I think is probably where I want to be. Most likely. Well, I have just F6 through my turn. That's always a bonus. Just put your governing wheel in it. Good old magic online. Pressed undo yield through turn. It yielded through turn. Because he had passed through the turn at the time. Awesome. Just what you want. <clears throat> so, we're just going to play this land. Heal to each turn. Prism's fine. So, I'm just going to play a Prism. Um, See if it's a tower. I'm just gonna play a prism here. To be fair, he might counter it. He might think we have less land drops than we actually do. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna lead on stones. Tower. Nice. I don't care about the order just yet. <clears throat> it's this tower was quite uh, not the tower. The uh, prism was quite annoying because it was our way to get galvanic relay. Mornwelk. Interesting. So he's going to more milk ephemerate, so we're going to discard four. So we're going to discard mine and disciple, because we don't need the disciple yet. Um, <coughs> and ephemerate, so... Hmm. We're going to keep tower. So tower's a keep. It's just, is it going to be... I think the mine's obviously got to go, and then is it, is it going to be relay to try and... If we draw another card, or is it stones, because we can cast it now. Um, I think relay is the biggest upside because if we find say prism or sphere or star it's still not bad because we can just play tower play that and then the relay or potentially draw off spare supplies into something else but stirrings is obviously something we can cast and we can't get relay off stones. I think we have to hope to draw off this or our draw step for relay is our chance to win. I think I think binning a second relay is not how we win this game. <clears throat> Bobble. So we play Tron. We then draw and we're gonna draw a prism. We're going to draw a prism. One time dealer. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> so from this, we put a disciple on the bottom of our deck. And we draw a prism. And we draw a prism. That's slightly annoying because we now get rid of this. The star goes, so the star would star and the power plant go off the <coughs> uh, ephemerate more milk, which I think it's not good, but I think it's fine. This this lets us at least try and do something. Ephemerate I can't do anything about this. I'm just yielding to it. I do have to pay attention to the clock. So I do have to consider when when we don't have enough time. I think we are getting there. I'll probably take these 
these two cards are going to draw steps, see how we're doing, depending on what he plays, and go from there. So just kind of tack. Hmm. This deck is getting popular. I do think the blue white evoke deck is quite get picking up in popularity, but they are messing around with the different colours because the removal in the white one is just not good. It's just not there at all. Um So we lead off on stirrings. Hmm. That is a... Hmm. Well, that is minging. Um, yeah, I didn't think about ephemerate. I think if he had... A, I, I assumed he didn't have the ephemerate because... I'm just going to concede. Um, because I, I would have thought he would have done it in, his draw, in the draw step. But, again... Maybe that was because he knew I was going to draw cards off the star. So yeah, that, that was my bad. I probably should have led on the Marauder and try to keep cards in hand at a minimum. Yeah, that, that is un unfortunate. Oh, well. We got one game on him. That'll do me. Happy enough. <clears throat> so we have one Tron piece we do have in you know, a Stearns I think I'm going to keep this because we have got Tower into Star or Sphere um, and I'm going to lay in Sphere Stirring into no land drop. Wow. Uh, bauble. Yeah, we, we really need to hit a land drop here. Yeah, it's got double blue open. Oh, wow. He's probably going to count this. I'm yielding anyways, but yeah. Wow. Stirrings with this, is, but this is the thing why I think Abundant Harvest has just give this deck just that little bit more reach. It's more redundancy. Like Abundant Harvest is guaranteed land when you need it. Stirrings is probably quite high percent. I don't know the exact percentage on it, but it's pretty likely. So, <clears throat> play this land might make him less likely to counter there. Um, I'm just going to pick the forest here, just to get them land ups down. Um, hmm. And they're both named right. Uh, let's get back counter spell. So, he has no black mana at the moment. So I'm just going to play a Foundry Inspector Pass. Unless I get Tron. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to Foundry Inspector pass, hope he has no black, and then I'm effectively just going to try and relay from here. Right, so, I'm going to lead off on star, see if he counts it. No. Bauble. Bauble. Uh, I'm going to crack this for red. For a forest. Play this. Um, and then I'm just going to relay. So 
So there's the mine, which is quite nice. <clears throat> and another relay, which is also good. And some teleport. Um, I'm just going to attack if he ephemerates. Ephemerates. It's five cards in hand. Block ephemerate. <coughs> Chop. Again, I'm not doing anything in particular. I'm just going to play the Tron land. Um, I hope he does not black. So this this brings back the ephemerate. Hopefully the relic will stop that for next turn. Hmm. Dust to dust. Um. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna crack this anyways. Disciple. That is fine. <clears throat> it's a bit annoying now that I have no red for this relay. So I need to draw that. That's not red for the relay. Um. I'm gonna lead on Foundry Inspector. See if he counts it. Like I don't really, I don't think I care too much. It probably means I can't. Okay. Play this first. As expected. Uh, spare so <clears throat> I probably want to lead on Abundant Harvest first, and I will choose Non-Land. And again, Non-Land. Oh wow. Oh wow. Do I want to try and bauble? Probably. I want to try and bauble into something. Bauble into another land. Something I can do. Hmm. I don't want to go again, I don't think. I don't believe so. a shame about the uh, dust to dust like it's very hard for this deck to cast dust to dust it's very very greedy so <clears throat> let me put two cards on bottom <sighs> we just need to try and he's now got us under a, an ephemerate counter spell lock but if we can play more than one actual spell a turn like this this is another dust to dust Wow. We're just flooding out here. We have 32 cards in deck. So we are just going to get a prism. Um, prism here. So we're just going to play both of these out. He still has no access to black mana. Um, so there is that. He still has ephemerate up. You can try and dust the dusters out of this game. But again, we have just got Muldrift Revoked into Ephemerate. Probably get some black mana here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I don't really know what this matchup's going to come down to, as I said, like this, I'm just too fresh with this deck to know this. Um, I'm just going to bauble a bauble here. Am I going to bauble a star? Um, I think I'll bauble a bauble. Always yes. Always yield. Always yes. 
in the draw. We've got another land. Why wouldn't we? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's two lands left in the deck. Um, so we want to do this for red. I'm just going to crop rotation now. There's not two lands left in the deck. I really need to let it count. Smash you in the first five. <clears throat> ephemerate gets ephemerate. Three, four, five, seven, eight. No. Ephemerate the Caramancer. Count this back. <clears throat> I'm just going to play the prism. So I can hit him in the face for five and he'll block, and then he gets two more cards. Um, I think I just have to try and go through all this. Like I know he's going to draw two, but I think I'm at the point where I've got not enough like live draws. Mm, it is a hard one. I do feel like this list may run more lands than it needs. A lot of the uh, old Relaytron decks just ran two forests. So, and it does sometimes feel like that, but I don't know if that's the draws or how, or how I'm playing. I do think this guy has got quite lucky. In the sense that he's been able to cast Dust to Dust. Like it's an incredibly difficult card in that deck to cast. Uh, he's just going to counter this. <coughs> he's not. He's going to counter this. I feel like I don't have a single way to win now. Then this resolve. I'm assuming because he's now got the he's got the ephemerate loop, so he can just block an ephemerate, and then he can get cast down if he really needs to. Um. Yeah. So he has got the counter spell still, he's got a cast down, he's got two ephemerates. Um, I don't think there's really any way out of this, unless. Uh, no, I just don't think there's any way out of this, to be fair. I'm just going to pack it up and head to round five. I'm still going to play this out just for general experience. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you guys in round five. Alright guys, we are back for the last and the peak, peak round and we are going to get one game win. That's what we're aiming for. So this hand is a keep, I think. I think we can lead on this uh, mining star into Abundant Harvest for land to get a di hopefully a different land in this forest. Uh, or we can prism depending on what we draw. I think this is a fine keep. 
We are. We have. I think I'm hundred percent butchering this deck completely, but we have been on the play for quite a lot of this. Um, I think we've won almost every dice roll, so been on the play basically the entire time. So be good to see. It would be good if we can get a match on this, but against the uh, elusive Campo, I highly doubt this. <coughs> So he's also deliberate, and if he wants to keep seven, um, I guess at this point I'll pretty much pause and then resume when he's decided to keep. He's back, and he decided to keep seven. So we're gonna play this. Let's start. <coughs> Depend on what we'd rather either play the play the prism or we'll play the harvest. Um, red. Um, I think I'm going to play the prism. This deck again. So we can do this for land. Mine <coughs> in the prism. So I guess crop rotation will be a nice draw. Um, we are maybe dead. He only needs three spells in a team of battle rage, and there's one which is free. And there's the assault draw, which is effectively the battle rage. There's younger. Easy as that. Well, that was a quick game. This deck is definitely picking up in popularity. It's a very powerful deck at the moment. Um, I think the Fangra Marauder is a good shout, and so is the Weather the Storms. Cycle's probably not what we want. I don't think. And again. I think I only cut one this time because I don't think cutting two was right. Um, probably put, take a bauble out. Again, I could be butchering how I'm supposed to sideboard. I'm just going off what I think. Um, we will play first again. Uh, I think this is a keep. Let's <clears throat> uh, play this. <clears throat> right of flame in a dude. Oh god. Right of flame in a right of flame. Oh wow. Kill thing, kill thing. Wow. Um It's very aggressive. Three cards in hand, so could still die. Could have the straight up nuts. Um <clears throat> Do I then play it safe and play forest to then weather the storm? Um, I just don't. I just don't want to get blown out by this. Um, I, I'm just gonna play the forest. This could be completely utterly wrong, and it's less likely that I am gonna die. But I, I just, I'm unsure. <clears throat> Great. Wow. Army of killing things. Hold on. Um, I'm just going to pass the turn. I, I'm just going to hold up weather, this, weather the Storm for when he does try and go off. Which probably isn't going to be enough now with three kiln things. Because this draw is absolutely mental. So I'm, I'm assuming you're thinking about 
to a battle rage, <coughs> um, which is a 16. See my lava dart. Wow. Eight, uh, 14, 12. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just dead here. I think I just weather the storm and then he flashes back a lava dart and then I'm dead. I think. That's 26. And then that lava dart's plus nine. But he's still got one guy behind. So 22, yeah, I'm, I'm easily dead. That deck is very, very fast and I can't imagine that being a general good matchup. <clears throat> at all. Um, I obviously think I should have, in hindsight. I think, to be fair, if I did tap out on turn two for, like, a prism or an abundant harvest, he just would have killed me a turn earlier. I think these two could have easily killed me. He didn't need the third one. The third one just meant he didn't need a, a team of battle rage or an assault robe. But, yeah, I don't think that matchup can be particularly bad. Can be... Particularly good, I should say. Um, but yeah, I, I think this deck is interesting. I definitely do think it's interesting. Obviously, it did 5 0, so it does have something about it. It could have just got lucky matchups. It could have got. <clears throat> you know, the the player could have been incredibly good at Obviously, he piloted it, could have built it. Um, and I do think it is interesting. I do think I did play it really, really badly. So I don't have. Um, good this deck is by any stretch of the means um, again that was another league where we've seen no affinity and seen two blitz decks so i definitely think i don't know if that deck is really well positioned at the moment or if people are just that bored of affinity that they're going on the, the new toy and that obviously as you've seen the blitz deck has got the most newest things obviously it's got reckless impulse it's got flame breather so i probably will potentially look at doing that um, I don't know if I'll play the uh, Cyclops build or the Mono Red build. Um, definitely something I will look at probably running through a league. Um, but yeah, if you uh, like the video, obviously hit that like button and then press subscribe. And uh, you'll probably see us for some more videos and some more interesting content. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.